Everybody to what it's a one you know, this thing, this thing like. Tell me, speak up, I only can drive in the I shoot up the piece, I don't Chicken and neck turning Still the on the journey Me not fi call Them name Me a win Them shame Mash up everywhere Them lame I'm no green No no sing No no pain Blessing a come Call the rain Crying for walk Enemies I get green Rich badness Pop champagne This sweet Every blood drain From your vein Journey Everything When you see me With me earning Put the seals That you Drain from your vein, journey Everything when you see me with me earning Put the seals to your house and burn it Kill them with style, you me no need to burn me You me tell you for my journey Think you burn up the place like furnace Try and stop my food, ratchet in the neck turning 
still the on the journey From a little and a grow up When you reap when you sow up Watch your blessing just a flow up Them can't stop me and me a take the show And no fight me get Jano But me get stronger like a tiny at all Melanin in a skin just a glow But me bleach with them at night and them no know Me not dead to and we a drunk crow Hungry I go kill on a bumble clad slow I be here what them a throw me and your girl have chemistry No buy, oh, knock them out like From a little and a grow up When you reap when you sow up Watch your blessing just a flow up Them can't stop me and me a take the show And no fight me get Jano But me get stronger like a tiny at all Melanin in a skin just a glow But me bleach with them at night and them no know Me not dead to and we a drunk crow Hungry I go kill on a bongo class now Wait for me dead, hungry, I got killer now. New music coming, new music loading, new music loading. New dance and music, I wanna want to call it loading. The youth, them flavor. New flavor loading. New flavor, you wanna see the dance, see the dance, see the body of fuck, you dance, see it in that tatty, you know, tatty. We mix the tatty, you see what I say? Hey, me create a blood clean dance, see it, you see me and Tabby. I'm if you tell you now. Wait until you see dance, this is a thing about left way road, we know everything. Everything we know. Don't you make a wee sell lyrics, you know? Yeah, man. A wee sell lyrics. Mm, but I saw it go, you don't know. Yeah. Alright. If. Um, the reason you yeah, have to do is that. Uh, is an important reason, see? Is an important reason, the reason you yeah, have to do. And the reason I do the reason is out, out of respect um, and love, you see? Because you see, you see, you see, Jeremy Harding, yeah, Jeremy Harding, nothing, nothing in this world, yeah, can, or can let me disrespect Jeremy Harding. You understand? So, I do this. With no form of disrespect or bad vibe or bad energy. It's just a correction with Jeremy Harding because Jeremy Harding is, is an important figure in my career. So that's why I even address it. Because I kind, of kind of make a pledge, right? I kind of make a vow. So I not address nobody where no mean nothing to me. Yeah. That's what I think. So if I see me address Jeremy Harding, that means uh, it means something to me. It, him had, the, him had the foundation of my career. I understand me? I said, Jeremy Harding. I wanted to block them who lay the foundation for my career. So I'm more of a correction I want to do with Jeremy Harding because I know that people will misconstrue thing, things and run with it. I don't want that when it comes down to me and Jeremy Harding. Because Jeremy Harding, if I never Nike here, I know they are right now. I'm sure of that. If I never Nike here, me not there so. Just like if I never had Zai with Danny Brownie, me not there so. Zane, we can always argue about the business side of things and all them something there. The idea they may do a live, I'm sure the people them, you know, as much as we may have different um, arguments when it comes down to like VP and Green Sleeves them, I'm sure people the importance or the purpose that a VP served, a Green Sleeve served, so not not change, you understand? Yeah, with that reasoning, yeah. When it comes down to the importance of Jeremy Harding in my career, very important. To this day, I may get the biggest fire of them anywhere me go and perform. I feel see yo and in the air, and him never have to record me. You understand me? I say so. Jeremy Harding, big up yourself. So this is basically a correction. This is just a correction based on the interview that you did. With um, a virgin, my virgin um, um, entertainment report. Yeah, great brother. You see him? So, the last time I highlight something, an interview, a part of an interview that was done on, you know, Jamaica Entertainment, and I think it went left. Maybe my approach it wrong, or me deal it to in the initial stage. Yeah, so this one, I'm hopes that the one in Agogo left. I hope that the one you like, we can learn from the one, yeah, and we can bury the achit here with. The Sean Paul, Mr. Vegas, Hot Girl Today story. Because it's one truth to Hot Girl Today. One truth. 
Zain? One truth. Zain, there is no other truth or one truth. Everything else is decayed memories and all them things. Eh? A one truth that to the whole of this. One truth. I'm going to show you the truth. One truth. And the evidence is there to support the truth. Zain? And to me, it's a water under the bridge, you know. It's a water under the bridge. But since it come up and an important person like Jeremy addressed it and me see the inaccuracies in him addressing it, I go point out. And so we can learn from it and maybe some at some point we can bury that. That's that's something I see. Cause trust me. There's still people who are interested in that that's something. Here. And we move on. Champa moved on to be one of the biggest Jamaican artists. Mr. Vega still doing fairly well. You understand me I say? That's one of them things that sometimes things don't work out you know, in our life. And that's how it goes. But watch this now. Jeremy take or his memory on how the song came about. There is some truth into how the song came about. Right? A brother walk into the studio yard and him says something to him. says something and everybody not pay him no attention. But my ears keen and like melodies and, and, and words. So the guy coming at the, the brother coming at the studio yard for Jeremy and the man said something or, or some melody. I don't remember what it was exactly. See? But he said something and I said, Yo, that body. <laughs> See? So I called Dan Youth and I said, Dan Youth, you know, you had something to him just sing a while ago. But no man not him no mind. But me love melodies. So I grabbed the melody and the man said, Yeah, man, you can't take it, man. I want to take to make a song, man. Really. So the man said to me, you know. So I said, Dan Youth. I have an idea with that, with, with, how, to do, how to do this, you know. I could do something like cocoa tea and home tea. You know, darling, why do I get butterfly? You know, which one I wish I love by it. So, I said, I could do something like that, no. So, me then and already for vibe this song, and Daniel would say, just write my part, man, just write my part. You see what I said? Joke of that. So, I said, Sean. Boom. So, me and Sean start vibe the song. You see? I have chance to sit down there and vibe the tune. You see? Nobody, no, nobody ne never, like, if, obviously if Jeremy did hear we have vibe the tune and think the tune bad, Jeremy the voice the tune. So I just, me and Sean Paul have this song. We will vibe. You see, me and say, me and say, yo, I have it in my head and him have, you know, we have said bad. But I don't know where, like, you know. So anyway, Flabba. Zin, Flabba we, 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 we vice. Um, well, bad man, no watch, girl. We know what he pumps. You know, him and Deli ranks. I think it's a part. No, no, Deli never a part in him time. So, Flabba ranks. Come Jamaica and say, one vice, me and Sean Paul. So, we got tough come. And we are saying, I sang you, we are going to um, Flabba. Hot girl today. You know? So, we sing the song for Flabba. Zin and Flabba have a rhythm on the song. It's not really wicked, wicked pan the rhythm, but you know, we just are coming to music, so we don't even care if it's wicked, wicked pan the rhythm. We just want voice. Me have Heads Eye are the number one song in the country. And Nike are the biggest song in the party, in the dancing. So me have two monster tunes, and Sean Paul don't really have no monster tune, but he might go on good. Zin? Can the pan check it, him the check it deeply. No, my bad, sorry. Woman, um, Oh man, no one, no bed, yeah, and him have, him have, um, him have. Now get no blight, sharp on the pressure, you will one more try, them two tune are going good. That the funny, everyone falls in love sometime, falls in love sometime, yeah, boom. So him have a song there, I go on good pan read him there too. See him? I think. So, when we go to Flabba, Flabba, Say, he might give Sean Paul 30 grand and he might give me 20. So, I say, for real, no man, no man, I go do the song, brother. You know, just give him 30 and give me 30. He might say, no. He might give Sean Paul 30 and he might give me 20. So, I say, so why you underpay me? Yeah? It's not like Sean Paul is a mega star or a bigger artist than Vegas, so I could understand. And I mean, the man, I pay me and the man, I go sing the song. So, why you not just. Give me 30 and give him 30. I we are willing to pay 10 grand for. So I'm still a wall out. I'm say, 
It's not no brainer, brother. It's what we are going to do the song. Just give me 30 and give me 30. So I'm saying, no. So I feel that we, you know, I see it's sad. I see like, Flabba really serious. So I'm not give me the 30 grand. So I say, I think I joke the man I make. So I realize, I don't really mean my record. I shan't party my record. And that I pick up, you know. So I say, here, I'm going to cut you, dirty. I'm say, all right, and him stay and vice. Him stay back and vice, you know. You see? Him vice a different tune. So me go around and steal it. God bless him soul. Go around and steal it. And the man have a street sweeper play. Trim, 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 trim. So me now go in at the studio and I say, chill, la, 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 boom, boom, chill, hey. And I said, I bought this song that. Go on the record. And I said, No, man. And me and I used to name Sean Paul. You know, song. And I said, Who named him? I said, I'm going to look at you, man. He's sound like Super Cat. You don't know him. So I started singing, Now get no blight. Sean Paul, I pressure you with one. And I said, Same, no, know the song. And I said, You soon know it, man. So I bought me up, I said, Me for voice. And I said, No, man. God knows when that youth is forward, you are going to love him voice. In bad. So we wait, 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 and champagne and half hour, champagne and half hour. And I say, I'm a forward, man. So I link him on the phone and I say, Dotty, boom. Anyway, I'm forward. I think the time I'm a job at Blue Swift. You see? So I'm forward and boom, I'm going to the vice in room and I shot my part. Boom, 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 my part bad. So champagne is a man take long for vice them time. So, you know, can we just write the song? I say, like the night before or two days ago. So champagne, I try it. Remember the lyrics, them and thing now. You know? Competition of Fig One, call me first, but Sean Paul's a man now, him voice slow. I remember him lyrics. So, still, he had a body up with me, I said, No, man. What do you do? So, him stay, man. <laughs> them money are the God. See, and I calm down, Sean Paul. And this are the truth, and nothing but the truth. I think, I think Cleavy is the studio, too. And Cleavy is still alive, so Cleavy can, 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 can defend this. So, done the song, me and Sean Paul, done the song. Simple that. Me and the man do the song together. There's no argument when me make say me more important than the song than Sean Paul or, or whatever, Bridget. The idea that me, a actor, Sean Paul, a feature for my song, that not no go so. This is what I say. The truth is, me never did I go sing it without Sean. That are the truth. 100%. Just like when me never did I go sing Taxi Fear without Lexus. This is what I say. Even when me call country and say, Yo, I'm going to make country sing it, you know. I'm going to give him come to the studio. You understand what I say? So I'm not going to sing it without Sean Paul. And I and him work on it. And my philosophy that bridging. From me and your vibe, I think bridging. I'm not going to take where your credit be. Hot work. So I'm going to the studio where I do, where I advise hot work. And they link me and they say, yo. I give them a piece of publishing and they say they want a, a, big, a bigger piece when they sang boss. I say, I don't know, man. I don't remember them name. They used to work a, a big yard. Two, two, two writer youth. I say, yeah, man, I want to you. But I give them a little piece more. You see I say? Um, that is it. So it goes. From your, from, your, from your work together, Bridget, you, you, you know, I want the easiest youth to deal with. You say, you link me. When we do um, Badam for, for um, um, Hardwell, one of the top dance, dance, dance DJ. Um, a Richie Loop write the song. And they might give me a Richie Loop equal, equal share. And Richie Loop link me and say, and sorry if you talk your business, Richie Loop, but the man link me forward and say, yo, boom, boom, bam, 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 the splits, them area. Of course, me know what I mean, write the song. But me still want a piece of like publishing because I perform it. So I say, oh, I'm there, Richie Loop, man, boom, 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 bam, bam, bam. No argument in the night. Because at the end of the day, you know, when you go lay down at night, you, know, you and yourself, you know. A reason before you drop as even. You know. Your conscience, and if you know, wake a man, you make certain your conscience clean, Bridget. You see what I say? So it's not, no, it's, it's not nothing to make it seem as if me thinks a shampoo less important for a girl today than me. Or me more important than him for the song. You understand what I say? It's a collective effort. It was a collective effort. With me and Sean Paul and the pilot brother we come in the yard, come home the melody. I don't remember the words. I don't remember what it was, but the man just said something and I just pick up on it right away. You see? Anyway, so that is that. Now, Jeremy made some inaccurate points 
about how the contention came about and it was it's unfortunate that maybe his memory decayed may I, let, may I leave it down to that because a long time ago this a man maybe not remember the, the, how the thing go you understand me I say, but just out of respect may I go correct it because he put it out there publicly so may I go put this out there publicly and who no can make sense of it and who no can understand the industry and the business because this is still a teaching moment see the idea that I did not want to be a part of the song or my record label never want to be a part of the song is very inaccurate. One, I was not signed to Green Sleeves. So Jeremy Harding said on record that I was signed to Green Sleeves and Green Sleeves wanted $30,000 for me to appear on the song. That is inaccurate. I was never signed to Green Sleeves, so they could not have asked for any money for me. That is the truth. There is no contract with me and Green Sleeves as an artist. I gave them Heads Eye album and Damn Right album. I'm an in, I've been on it, I've, I've one record label me signed to two now, the one of France, and Delicious Vinyl. Those are the only two record labels I've ever had anything, anything when it comes down to signing. I was not signed to Green Sleeves, so Jeremy, and the people them were interested in the story. Because I think the people are interested no more, in my opinion. I was never signed to Green Sleeves for Green Sleeves to order $30,000 for me to appear on a song. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make no sense. Why would I... Um, know that Green Sleeves wanted $30,000 for me to appear on a song? And not do something about it if I were if I was even signed to Green Sleeves, that wouldn't make no sense. Why that not make no sense? Because on the same album, me have Tiger Bone. And the same album, me have all of the skits them. And on the same album I me produce, check it deeply. So if I you know, had a contract with Green Sleeves, they wouldn't have asked the thirty thousand of a hot girl today. Alone, them that want money for it, check it deeply when we produce. Them that want money for Tiger Bone, where they put the album, and the skits them we may have on the album. So it wouldn't make no sense if them have come ask the 30,000 for one of the songs. There was no contention with Sean Paul and me having any songs on any album or Green Sea or VP or VP releasing any songs. It wouldn't make no sense. See? It doesn't make no sense. Is 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 and the album actually have other songs. And the album was released with those songs. You can check that. The stage one album was released with those songs. And we produced this. I'm answer enough for them a pass it with no one them around and the punk that you pick man up to put them down. Save me didn't want money. Sean Paul couldn't put this on the album. Nobody not give me no money for this. Why would I why would I do that? When me got to producers and them give me Jeremy Harding gave me Nike here for my album and him never charged me. You see? Danny Brown give me I am I'm Ed Zai for my album and him never charge me. Richie D give me hands up for my album and him never charge me. Shines gave me big things, I go ah, and get nasty gig, never charge me. Come go around to the producers and I say, yo, you put out the songs them, we don't have no contract, we don't sell the songs them, we don't get no money, so at least give it for my album. So why me that turn on to my bridge And I ask him for money. Me not get no money for this and I me produce it. Go look it up. A she's a all read him this, a my read him. As I say, a me produce this. Who wanna, wanna do that to my brother? You crazy? Thirty thousand dollar? No, no dread. No man. No dread.
<laughs> this level had like four different pieces with me. So why me that why my label would have stick up VP for just one of the songs them? Them now stick them up for all of the songs them. Plus me never me never sign to Green Sea. So Green Sea never have the authority there. But brother Jeremy. Green Sea never have the authority, never had that authority to ask nobody for no money for me. That that inaccurate man. We have to be very careful sometimes we put out things in other space, you know, because remember I said the vultures them, you know. I look dead meat, you know. But as I said, Jeremy, I'm a, I'm a general. For life. That can't change. Vegas is who Vegas is today because Jeremy Harding recorded Nike here. So the vultures them on the back off. You know, can't destroy that. That already made. He might already do something great for me. Vultures, back off. You know, allow this. You know, not get nothing out of this, B. None at all. Ah, right, see? What? Look at this. We don't know if we can see. You know see that? See that? Feature Mr. Vega, Sean Paul, Skit. You see? No money for that. See that? Tiger Bone. Rich, rich, see the Tiger Bone? Tiger Bone. See that? See him album. Track 12. Tiger Bone. You see what I say? So why would they be ask, ask why would they be asking for money for or why would they ask some money for just one of the song them? You see what I say? Is it is it the, 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 the piece upon here is another beautiful piece of music tag Tiger Bone alongside Mr. Vegas which has started making a huge trend out there. He released the song in, in the year two thousand. You see? And was lifted from the new album called Stage One. This track was exclusively done for Sean Paul's album by Richard Browning. When we say exclusively done for the album, it means that it make for the album. We go sing it and I ask for a dollar. So how comes Green Steve if Green Steve did sign me? Why would they not want money for Tiger Bone too? It <laughs> no make no sense. You understand what I mean? It no make no sense. So the whole argument about... Listen me. I just saw it go time sometimes cause memory to decay. I may go just leave it at that. But I never signed to Green Sleeve. For them, I asked in a 30,000 other for me. You see what I say? I don't play back where Jeremy said. I don't even go back to play back. He's either here or there. I don't even go back to play back. But the truth is, I never had no contract, no recording artist um, agreement with. With, with green seeds, so they couldn't ask for thirty thousand dollars for me. That is very inaccurate. The the, the truth is the one hundred percent truth is, and Jeremy said another thing, that um. VP reached out to, Steely and Cleavy to remix the song. Because Green Steve owned the song. That's in inaccurate. Why? And you know this brother Jeremy, and people in the music industry and people who study music. If they only if they had only remixed the song to another beat, Green Sea would have still owned the master. Them couldn't just remix it. In other words, if you take if you lift a vocal from a master and put it on another beat, it's still, you know, the, 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 the ownership doesn't change. That would be a remix. So technically green sleeves. Wouldn't have to ask for $30,000 of Vegas to appear. Green Steve could have just taken the song. So it's not a remix that was done. If it was a remix, there would be no... Just based on what you, you saw brother Jeremy, if it was a remix, Green Steve wouldn't have to ask for $30,000. They would have owned it. 
Because a remix, just like if somebody takes Zim Zimmer right now, Beanie Man's vocal and put on a different beat, Jeremy Harding still owns the master. 